Welcome to Live at Four. Good to have you with us at midweek. It's a lovely Wednesday summer evening in Madison, and that means it's time for Concerts on the Square. And Mark got the lucky assignment today. Hi, Mark. I forgot to you. Hello, Susan. Hello, everyone. Yeah, what a beautiful evening. People already on the grounds a couple of hours away from the fifth concert of the season. One more to go. So tonight is Rachmaninoff. We'll get a preview of that and a special guest coming up in just a little bit. All right, we're looking forward to it. But here is what's making news today. It is the first day of Packers training camp. Sports reporter Jordan Reed takes us inside the first day of practice. She'll join us live from Green Bay. Two days after Tom Nelson drops out of the U.S. Senate race, so does Alex Lasry. But who did he endorse for this November Senate election? We'll find out coming up. And President Biden tests negative for COVID and holds a speech in the Rose Garden. First, let's get a look on the forecast today. It was sunny and warm. Almost August. Boy, it's hard to believe. Rain tonight and then pleasant tomorrow are the weather words. Dana Fulton has the weather duties today. Hi, Dana. Hey, it is pretty nice outside right now. A little warm, a little humid for some areas, but not too bad for the end of July. Here's a live look over Madison's blue sky and a few clouds overhead, partly sunny. 82 currently, so very seasonably warm. Heat index readings sitting close to our actual temperatures. 84 for Janesville and 77 right now. Middle point with that breeze coming in from the northwest. Now our Doppler track been quiet this afternoon. We did see some showers south of Madison early today. Some more rain expected to build in as we look ahead to our overnight hours. But we'll at least make it through the rest of this evening before we have any showers building back in. Temperatures for Thursday and Friday expected to be quite comfortable outside. Next week, though, it does get a little warmer. In fact, we're probably going to see the 90s a few times for the start of August. Let's take a quick look at traffic. East and westbound along the Beltline, all green. A smooth evening commute on this Wednesday. Downtown Madison, a few slow and go spots, but it uh, also looks like things are rolling along quite smooth if you're trying to get downtown for concerts on the square. Janesville looks good in north and southbound on the interstate in Rock County and Dane County. All good for this evening from the Beltline to Janesville, 24 minutes, 16 minutes to get from Middleton to Sox City and downtown to Sun Prairie, an 18 minute commute. Susan, we'll take a closer look at the rest of the forecast in just a few minutes. All right, we'll check back in just a bit. Thank you, Dana. Well, if Aaron Rodgers is going to get back to and win another Super Bowl in February, that journey starts today, a sunny, hot day in July. Hope springs eternal at Packers training camp, and that was certainly the case this morning in Green Bay. Our Jordan Reed was there with a lot of the fans for the first big practice of the season. It is so exciting. She joins us live from Lambeau with more. Hi, Jordan. You could definitely feel the excitement and the energy this morning, you know, as the Packers open up training camp this for this year. And the day began with their traditional bike ride from Lambeau over to Nishki Field, and then it was go time. Aaron Rodgers and company, you know, took took to the field. They ran through some drills as hundreds of fans looked on. And this is one of three open practices just this week. And it's an experience that fans are very grateful that they get to be a part of. It's nice to come back home, right? Like I, I grew up standing at this fence, right? At the kids this size. And now to come back and and see a lot of players I don't recognize. Yeah. Right? A lot of like a lot of familiar faces and it's it, I mean it's amazing. Our training camp coverage continues here on News 3 and coming up at 6, we're going to dive into the bigger question of who is going to be the MVP's main guy at wide receiver. Susan, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio. That is the question. We'll see you at 6, Jordan. Thanks so much. CBS News has confirmed reports that the Department of Justice's criminal investigation into January 6th may be circling around former President Donald Trump. Natalie Brand has more from the White House. Very corrupt. In his first return to Washington, D.C. since leaving office, former President Donald Trump once again raised false claims about the 2020 election. I ran the first time and I won. Then I ran a second time and I did much better. In a sign the Justice Department probe into the presidential election in January 6th may be widening, CBS News has confirmed federal prosecutors are looking into communications of people close to the former president and his re-election campaign. Witnesses called before a federal grand jury include two former advisors to then Vice President Mike Pence. It's not clear Mr. Trump himself is a target of the investigation, but prosecutors are asking questions related to him and his aides. 
In an interview with NBC News, Attorney General Merrick Garland reiterated no one is above the law. We intend to hold everyone, anyone who was criminally responsible for the events surrounding January 6, for any attempt to interfere with the lawful transfer of power from one administration to another, accountable. That's what we do. In addition to the Capitol assault on January 6th, another focus of the DOJ investigation is the efforts to replace electors won by President Joe Biden with those loyal to Mr. Trump. The Attorney General says this is the most wide-ranging investigation in its history. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Attorney General Garland mentioned the House Select Committee's investigation into January 6th and said it was inevitable that Congress would find elements before law enforcement and vice versa. Less than two weeks to go now before the primary election and a top Democratic candidate drops out of the race for U.S. Senate. Eric Franke is here now with more on the news today regarding Alex Lazary. Eric? That's right, Susan. A bit of a surprise move today. The Bucks executive announcing he is suspending his campaign despite spending more than $12 million on the contest, and he will throw his support behind Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes. I always say, you know, when uh, this wasn't something where I thought we lost, right? I think Mandela won. This is important that we show up with all the strength, with all the momentum, with as many people behind us as possible, because it is going to take a broad coalition to get rid of Ron Johnson, and building that coalition shouldn't start on August 10th. Well, Lazary says he spoke to, to Senator Lazary says he spoke to Senator Tammy Baldwin in recent days and then reached out to Mandela Barnes last night to let him know. Lazary simply said the data signaled there was really no path to victory. Tom Nelson shown here. He bailed on Monday night. State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski is staying in the race for now. We talked to her to get out the vote event on the UW campus today. And so for me, there's nothing new. You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to who's the best candidate to defeat John Johnson. That's always been the number one reason why I'm in this race. And we're going to continue to run our 72 county strategy. We've got 14 day, 13 days left. We know voters are right now just paying attention. And we're going to continue to push that forward. Kotlowski has trailed Barnes by double digits in polling even prior to Nelson and Lazary leaving the race. And we should note, Lazary and Nelson's names will remain on your ballots. Of course, thousands of absentee ballots have already been cast statewide. Now, a Republican spokeswoman responded to this news today saying Barnes, quote, radical agenda will ensure a third term for Senator Ron Johnson. Again, that primary slated for August 9th, Election Day, November 8th. Susan. Eric, thank you. President Biden is back in the Oval Office today, less than a week after being diagnosed as COVID positive. The president says he's back to in-person work after testing negative and recovering from his case of COVID. Testing confirmed the president had the new and highly contagious BA5 variant, responsible for a surge of new cases nationwide. Despite the persistence of the virus, President Biden noted how far medical advances have come in the last couple of years to reduce the number of deaths and severity of cases. When my predecessor got COVID, he had to get helicoptered to Walter Reed Medical Center. He was severely ill. Thankfully, he recovered. When I got COVID, I worked from upstairs to the White House and the offices upstairs and uh, for the, that five-day period. Per CDC guidance, he isolated for five days and will now continue to wear a mask around others for 10 full days. Congressional lawmakers say major gun manufacturers made more than a billion dollars over the past decade from selling the types of military-style assault weapons used in many recent mass shootings. Democrats on the House Oversight and Reform Committee grilled the heads of two gun manufacturers. Heart-wrenching stories of gun violence were followed by tough questions. Executives from Sturm, Ruger, and Daniel Defense condemned recent gun massacres, but they refused the Democrats' calls to take responsibility. These acts are committed by murderers. The murderers are responsible. You market weapons of war to civilians <clears throat> and children. You make millions by selling them. But when someone pulls the trigger, you refuse to accept responsibility. 
The House Democrats are currently working on a package that includes an assault weapons ban, provisions to remove civil case immunity for gun makers, and funding for police. That legislation could come up for a vote next month. Well, the bad news, you did not win the massive Mega Millions drawing last night, but the good news is... No one did. The jackpot is still up for grabs. That means Friday's top prize currently stands at $1.02 billion. If there is a winner and they take the cash option, it's $602 million before taxes. With inflation on nearly everyone's mind these days, the frenzy over the jackpot has been growing. Even a thousand bucks would help. True. With gas prices, just saying. Mega Millions has now gone 29 consecutive days without a jackpot winner. The next drawing, as we mentioned, is Friday night. The secretary designee of the Wisconsin Department of Administration stopped by Sun Prairie today to participate in a Main Street business tour. Kathy Blumenfeld met with Sun Prairie's mayor and the Chamber of Commerce leaders while touring Beans and Cream Coffee House, the Cannery Wine Bar and Tasting Room, Eddie's Ale House and Eatery, and Sun Prairie Flowers by Hen and Chick, each of which received pandemic relief funding. The Sun Prairie Chamber of Commerce was also the recipient of over $250,000 in grant money aimed at supporting the tourism industry. And the loyalty, uh, they talked about the lines that are still there today of their drive through uh, coffee business that um, people just really supported them through that. And now they have a second line of business uh, that they might not have had uh, if the pandemic and the investment dollars hadn't come in. She also discussed how important the funds were for Sun Prairie to repair post-explosion and that these types of things that happen, these are the th types of things that happen when people come together. Second and third graders were surprised with some new PE equipment for their school today. Members of Emerson Elementary School in Madison were able to share new basketballs, jump ropes, sidewalk chalk, soccer balls, and a lot more. And it gave the students some time to play outside with the new school supplies. Today's event was part of the Play Every Day initiative sponsored by Madison Memorial High School and alum and Milwaukee Bucks wing Wesley Matthews. Up next, we'll head back downtown for a preview of tonight's Concerts on the Square. Mark will rejoin us with a guest that's helping to make the concerts more accessible to everyone. That's when Live at Four continues. We'll be right back. Watching News 3 Now, live at 4. I brought in Ensure Max Protein with 30 grams of protein. Those who tried me felt more energy in just two weeks. Uh, Here, I'll take that. Ensure Max Protein with 30 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. Enter Powered by Protein Challenge for a chance to win big. At TSR, we transform your old, beat-up concrete into a beautiful, durable surface in one day. Hi, I'm Joey with TSR Concrete Coatings. We specialize in garages, patios, pool decks, basements, and more. We don't just coat over your old concrete. We start by grinding it down, then we apply the base coat and chip and seal it with our own proprietary sealant that will never chip or peel. Our coatings are beautiful, durable, ridiculously easy to clean, and are backed by our exclusive lifetime warranty. Our in-house team is ready to answer any questions that you have before and after the install. And right now on all projects, we're offering 15% off. Call the number shown below or visit our website for your new floor today. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. I am frustrated with my own party. You know, we've had 50 years to make Roe into law, but we've failed. And 
you know what, guys, I'm glad that now that Roe is overturned, you are all now sharing your own personal stories. But I wasn't the only one talking about reproductive rights because for me, this is not an afterthought. If Wisconsin wants to restore its women's rights to choose, they'll send the woman who will get the job done and defeat Ron Johnson. I'm Sarah Godlewski. I approve this message. Most boxes can be recycled up to seven times. It's not a miracle, it's by design. So it starts as a box for detergent and turns into one for a sneeze. Is all part of the circle of caring for our natural resources and trees. Choose recyclable paper and packaging. What's so great about being a Pick and Save Boost member? Free delivery on the Pick and Save products you love and more rewards like double fuel points. Boost by Pick and Save Fresh Perks, a new level of membership starting as low as $59 a year. Learn more at pickandsave.com. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pass patch reported reductions in pain severity using less or a lot less oral pain medicines and improved quality of life. That's why we recommend Salon Pass. It's good medicine. He sent me to people that work for Welcome back, everyone. Facebook's parent company, Meta, could be easing up on the way it handles COVID-19 misinformation. Yes, Susan, the company is considering a proposal to label or demote COVID misinformation instead of removing it altogether. Today, Meta asked its independent oversight board if the tougher pandemic policies are still warranted. Meta's president of global affairs, Nick Clegg, said the company, quote, remains committed to combating COVID-19 misinformation and providing people with reliable information. But he added that it's time to relook now at the COVID policies put in place early in the pandemic. The number of wildfires in the European Union since the beginning of this year is up dramatically. Over 1,900 blazes scorched EU countries from the beginning of the year up to July 23rd. That's compared to 520 from the previous 15 years from 2006 to last year. Spain, Italy, Portugal, Greece, France and Germany have all seen thousands of acres of land lost this year due to wildfires amid Europe's record breaking heat wave. The James Webb Space Telescope is on its 10-year journey in space, and now it'll journey around the U.S. as a stamp. It's the U.S. Postal Service's latest forever stamp honoring the modern marvel, the largest and most complex telescope ever deployed in space. You can see an artist's depiction of the telescope itself with its gold-coated mirrored segments making up a 21-foot wide lens, along with one of the dazzling photos from the telescope. The 60-cent stamp will come out on September 8th, Sheets of 20 are 12 bucks. The Federal Reserve is taking another step to fight inflation. The board raised a key interest rate, three quarters of a percentage point. It is the fourth rate, rate hike since March. And that news sent stocks higher. The Dow Industrials added 434 points to close at 32,196. The NASDAQ was up 469, or over 4%. The S&P 500 gained 102 points, or over two and a half percent. Well, it is a beautiful evening for some classical music on the square. The Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra is getting ready to perform the fifth concert on the square. And tonight's theme is Rachmaninoff's third. Let's rejoin Mark downtown. Mark has some special guests. Take it away, Mark. Thank you, Susan. Beautiful is the word this evening on the square here. Joined by Joel Lanis, the CEO of the Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Well, you lucked out with the weather this year, didn't you? So far, uh, five for five on Wednesday. The people already on the, on the blankets getting ready for tonight's performance. Yep. It's now after three o'clock, so you can start putting your blanket down. Food and beverages are being set up in the vendor area, so concert at seven. 200,000 people over the season, and not everyone has access to this. July is Disability Pride Month, and we have a special guest with us today. We do. Uh, uh, Jason Belongi is the Executive Director of Access to Independence, and we've been working with him probably since February, uh, getting ready to take a look at Concert on the Square and how we can make it more accessible. So, Jason, what are some, some of the obstacles here? Yeah, well, we just started working with uh, the Chamber Orchestra, as you mentioned, this year. Um, a little bit about Access to Independence. We're an organization that provides advocacy, resources, and services to people of any disability, any age. And we serve uh, four counties here in South Central Wisconsin. In addition to a variety of direct service that we do with folks with disabilities, we do a lot of community impact work. And part of that is through our Accessibility Services Program, which helps assist organizations, businesses, and even local governments with improving accessibility and inclusion through consultation and technical assistance. 
obstacles. And not just physical obstacles. Right, right. So folks with physical disabilities, mobility needs, but also vision loss, hearing, uh, could be uh, intellectual disabilities, a whole variety of disabilities that we look at. Being a cross-disability organization and a consumer-run organization, we can look at things in a much broader perspective. So what have you seen down here? Well, we are still working through our process, and I don't want to give it all away. We still have a report to provide yet for the Chamber Orchestra, but we're evaluating everything from just access for seating, access for concessions and restrooms, access for communication, whether it's uh, you know the, the information at the podium or information before the event, looking at the vendors as well. There's a whole variety of pieces we look at to see what areas have barriers, whether they're intentional or not, and going beyond basic compliance of the Americans with Disabilities Act, which is 32 years as of yesterday, um, so how can we go above and beyond that? And a huge kudos to the Chamber Orchestra. Uh, you know, their first year back in two years on the square, they didn't have to embark on this process with us. And when we talked about it and addressed the opportunity, Joe and his team said, yeah, let's do this. And they've been all in. And I know it won't be just a report on a desk. It's going to be something that they want to work on for quite a long time to really make sure everybody truly has access to this wonderful event we do in Madison. And Joe, that's very important to the Chamber. Absolutely. Especially coming out of COVID, you know, how can we reevaluate everything we do top to bottom to make sure that what we do here at Concerts on the Square and all of our performances are more accessible to everyone. And as we, as we know, it's all free. Anyone can come down. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be a beautiful night for it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sunny, uh, humidity's low, and uh, we just can't wait to uh, put on another great concert tonight. All right, we'll check back with you later. Sounds good. Thanks, Jason, Mark. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you, Jason. Well, still to come at four, overcoming seemingly impossible odds to create works of art. Wait until you see this inspiring story. It's coming up after Dana's first worn forecast. Mart Express own selection, price, and speed. Need single vision? Get two pairs starting under 40 bucks. Progressives, two pairs start under 80. Nobody beats us, guaranteed. I Mart Express, right classes, right price, right now. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40 year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Cookies and briars. That's like getting two desserts. Wait, did we have to thank our moms twice? I don't know. <laughs> briars, 100% grade A milk and cream, and loaded with delicious cookie pieces. Better starts with briars. A good night's sleep starts on a new mattress from Steinhoffels. Get a Beautyrest Black or Harmony Luxe mattress and get up to a $300 Hotels.com reward card. The new Beautyrest Black is redesigned and more luxurious and comfortable than ever. Beautyrest Black Queen mattresses start at $26.99. And with Steinhoffels special financing and free delivery, you can't make a mistake. Isn't it time you got a good night's sleep? Relax. This is Connie Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassion and care in your time of need. You won't phase me. Unlike Zyrtec, Allegra won't make me drowsy. Allegra starts working two times faster than Claritin. So take Allegra before allergy symptoms take over you. And for kids, try allergist recommended non-drowsy children's Allegra. Hi, I'm Scott Walker. Please join me in voting for Rebecca Clayfish for governor. Rebecca stood with me as we took on the big government special interest and cut taxes. Where Rebecca and I were fighting for reform, Tim Michael's company was teaming up with the union bosses and those lobbying for a gas tax increase. Rebecca and I knew that these increases would hurt Wisconsin families, so we stopped them. There's only one conservative fighter in the race for governor. Her name is Rebecca Clayfish. How do we make your glasses the same day? It's all done in store. Our skilled techs handle your glasses from start to finish, getting them back the same day. Quality, affordable glasses made in store only at iMart Express.
Well, take a look at this. A chaotic, crazy, a very scary chase involving a carjacked construction truck. This took place on a freeway in Fontana and Ontario, California. Police were in pursuit of an armed suspect. The chase began when the suspect was in another vehicle that was reported stolen on Monday. And during that chase, the driver crashed a stolen car and then carjacked the construction vehicle. The suspect hit several cars, blew out a tire. You can see the sparks shooting out of the back of the truck. But luckily, they eventually stopped this guy. The suspect ran, but he got cornered at a wall before a canine unit attacked him, and he was eventually put into cuffs. And you think you had a bad day today. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness, good thing, that one, good thing that one ended well. Well, cheers, Mark. We wish we had a little wine to cheer or scotch with you down yeah. there. Yeah, it's National Scotch Day. Drink to that. Not any old whiskey will do, though. It's, it has to be scotch. It has to be made in Scotland, made from malted barley, aged in oak barrels for at least three years, and be less than 94% alcohol. You can mark the day by enjoying a glass with friends, attend a scotch tasting at a whiskey bar, or host your own tasting. Bonus points if you wear a kilt. You gotta wear a kilt. <laughs> yes. There you go. I won't be doing that. I won't be doing that. Well, a lot of places be... downtown I could celebrate with this. Yeah, exactly. I think so. Yeah. We're going to be toasting uh, Dana tomorrow. Tomorrow, the cat is officially out of the oh, bag. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So oh, it uh, is. Yes, it, it is. is. It is, Mark. Uh, Friday is going to be my, my last newscast. Uh, oh, don't make nope, me I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. We'll talk more about that later. We're going to focus on sunshine and smiles. Let's right? do that. Only good vibes right now. We will talk about the next chapter. Uh, of course, no crying. No oh, crying. No okay. crying. Sunshine for the rest of the week. And some showers in the forecast for tonight. We'll look at your full 10 day right after the break. As owner of Wisconsin's largest construction company, I have a blueprint, a plan for every project. So here's mine for Wisconsin. I'll stand up to the radical left and their socialist agenda. We'll back the blue and get tough on violent crime. Bad guys, they're not gonna like me. I'll crack down on election fraud and keep schools open five days a week, no matter what Fauci says. I'm Tim Michaels and that's my plan. Now let's get to work. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Learn how AbbVie could help you save on Botox. We're not just massage envy. We're also facials that get your skin glowing envy. We're talking, dang girl, you look good kind of envy. All right, tell me your secret and lunch is on me. <laughs> how does she do it, envy? So what's going on with this? That's because a regular massage envy facial routine is an amazing way to look and feel better for that I still got it going on kind of a feeling. Must be good jeans. Through August 14th, try your first facial and get a free enhancement plus 20% off select skincare products. Terms apply. Massage and V facials, where better begins. I want to share my story so others can know that they are not alone. When my mom and dad were first expecting, the pregnancy had complications and there was very little chance of survival. My mom's health was at risk too. She chose to end the pregnancy. It was my decision, not some politicians. Every woman should have the right to make her own decision. And I'll fight alongside you every step of the way until you do. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Sunny skies.
guys right now, but we do have the possibility for showers yet again tonight and possibly some more steady rainfall compared to what we had last night. Those showers uh, that passed through earlier now dragging further southeast into parts of Chicago land and into Indiana. Again, north of us right now, we do have some light rain drops. So what does this mean for the rest of your work week? We have quick chance for showers and storms passing through tonight. Then we're back to sunshine and really comfortable temperatures for Thursday and Friday. High temperatures for the end of the work week will be in the 70s with overnight lows in the 50s. That means windows are open and, and my two dogs are pretty happy to sit there and smell everything trying to come through the breeze. As we look at the weekend sunshine and dry weather for Saturday and Sunday, but next week we'll come along with a few more shower chances and thunderstorm possibilities. Overnight, these showers start to build in mainly after midnight. We'll have steady rainfall and a few thunderstorms. Again, some steadier rain possible to start off the day on Thursday. By daybreak, most of this is cleared out though, and that's going to lead us to sunshine in the afternoon. High temperature will be in the upper 70s. Overnight Thursday into Friday, we drop down to the 50s, mid 50s to start off the day on Friday, and then high temperatures yet again climbing to the upper 70s with sunny skies to wrap up the work week. Rainfall totals for some folks might get close to about a half of an inch of accumulation, so we'll see measurable amounts, but notice it won't be a total washout for early tomorrow morning, but it does look like most of southern Wisconsin will at least pick up a few raindrops as that line of showers passes through. Mostly sunny tomorrow and certainly pleasant outside. Our breeze coming in from the West Northwest at about 8 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures in the upper 70s, so just a little bit below average, but should be nice and comfortable for our Thursday. And if you don't get the opportunity to enjoy the forecast on Thursday, thankfully we get a repeat on Friday. Nice little copy and paste to wrap up the work week, the final work week of July. Again, overnight lows pulling down to the 50s really helps cool things down overnight and then we get to enjoy that sunshine coming through in the afternoon. Mostly sunny for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures this weekend will be in the middle 80s, mid to low 80s for afternoon highs. Shouldn't be too humid outside. We have a slight chance for some showers creeping in Sunday night and a better chance for rain and storms on Monday. Next week is the first week of August and it's going to be a little warmer outside. High temperatures will be in the low 90s. That means heat index readings for the middle of the week. We're going to see a bit of an increase in our humidity expected to climb to the middle to upper 90s. Be a little more sticky with that sunshine just sunscreen and water and uh, perhaps not just water if you're someone who's a heavy sweater or something with some <laughs> sort of electrolytes. Like, yeah. I mean, when I'm doing my triathlons on the hot days, uh, a Gatorade or some sort of mix definitely necessary on those hot and humid days. So you're ending on a high note in case you missed it earlier. Friday is Dana's last day with us. We're not going to get into it right now. We're going to celebrate We're going to celebrate. Friday. We're going to keep Lo smiles and yes, sunshine. A lot to look forward to, but it's good to like, give people a heads up yes. because not everybody watches the show every day. Every so. day, yeah. We got two more days for shenanigans and um, we will we will find some shenanigans to have. We're in denial, right, Mark? <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it's National Scotch Day because I'm going to have one <laughs> with this we, news. We need a belt. <laughs> we need some scotch. If I can get my trash can lids back in here to start doing yes. my scotch routine, I think that's what comes on Friday. There. So we'll see. All right, the celebration we might, we begins. Might see that. We might see that. Yes. We might. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dana. Of course. Well, today, right, Dana, thank you. today we're introducing you to a talented artist who says he won't let anything stop him from creating art. Although Desmond Blair was born with immense creativity, he was also born without hands. Omar Villafranca introduces us to Blair and his work. Every stroke of Desmond Blair's brush. I know where I'm blocking my lights, my shadows. Brings a rich and beautiful subject to life on canvas. Just kind of contours where those happen at. The way he paints eyes and the vivid details of light in his portraits hint at the years he's been practicing his craft. But his dedication and how the 35-year-old handles a brush is a work of art in itself. Part of it was because of the way I was born. Uh, so since I was born with that hands, it's just like people would tell me what I wouldn't be able to do, but it's like if I had a sheet of paper and like a pilot pen, like you're not going to take that away from me. And if you do, I can just go get another one. And so the same thing once I started painting and doing other things is just like, you can say what you want, but I'm still gonna go buy canvas. And I'm still gonna keep painting. Blair was born without hands, caused by a genetic mutation. Growing up in Dallas, his mother and grandmother encouraged and pushed him to find his own way to do things. Your journey is gonna be different and we have to figure this out. And so it was always that mindset of, you know, I still expect excellence, but we gotta figure out how to get there. 
At school, he had to get creative to learn how to write with a pencil. But when the art bug bit Blair in an early age, he taught himself how to handle crayons with his wrists and explore his gift. We tried a bunch of different things, like putting crayons in my mouth, holding crayons with my feet. So um, I figured out how to write. Or I, I, that's the writing side. That's yeah. for you to be this, you know, Desmond the student. Yeah. What was it about crayons that triggered Desmond the artist? I watch cartoons, and so I wanted to learn how to draw the characters in the cartoons. As a kid, his mom enrolled him in his summer art program in Dallas. There, he met one of his mentors, Emmanuel Gillespie. I think everyone has that creative ability, but he had that passion. Anyone can do it, but that's it's the passion that drives it. From crayons, Blair turned to acrylics, then to oil. In college, his talent grew, as did his skill. And more than 25 years later... Is this the first one you drew? In the series, yeah. His first public exhibit at Dallas's Pencil on Paper Gallery, owned by his biggest supporter, Gillespie and his wife, Valerie. I think when people would look at this, they, they focus on the art. And they see you and they're like, okay, here's the artist. But they're always drawn to the fact that you don't have hands. Yeah. How do you balance that and say, no, 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 look at that, not me, that. I look at it as an opportunity to educate people about limb differences. His collection is titled In the Garden and features black women as Eve in the famous biblical story. We have Desmond portraying us in this beautiful light. He captures our essence, our skin, our mannerisms, everything just stunningly. He sees us and he appreciates us and he translates that onto canvas so all of us can see. His next project will be difficult and personal. He plans to paint his muse and motivation, Joyce Blair, his mother. She passed away in 2020 after a battle with ALS. I wanted to make sure I was in the right space and place to be able to do it. It would be like a full circle moment because the things that she taught me growing up as she advanced with her disease, it was just like, okay, we've done this before. We've learned how to adapt. Art is meant to inspire others, but sometimes the artist is a masterpiece. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Dallas. That is so incredible. That is, that is, re that is remarkable. It, it really, really is. is. Wow. All right, well, coming up next, you're online before we're waiting for the concerts on the square. So why don't we tell you about a different type of musical ensemble, the Boston Typewriter Orchestra. <laughs> Can't wait for that. And then coming up next hour at 5, we speak to the UW-Whitewater head basketball coach after losing a member of his team this past weekend. We'll have that coming up at 5. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a kitchen upgrade. Mad City is Wisconsin's number one remodeler, your trusted local source for kitchen cabinet refacing. Avoid a lengthy remodel and stay under budget as we transform your kitchen in style in as little as two days. Choose new door and drawer fronts, countertops, and more. Our design consultants not only make it easy, they make it fun. Be one of 50 homeowners who call now and receive special savings. Free installation on your cabinet refacing project. 18 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts. We'll take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. Dial 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Mom, Abel's looking for you. Oh, all right. As parents, we know that all Wisconsin kids should grow up in a healthy, safe world. As a women's health doctor, I know that access to abortion services is fundamental to personal and economic success. I'm going to fight for financial security so Wisconsin families can succeed and even dream. I'm Jillian Bettino, a mother, a doctor, a fighter, and I'm running for Wisconsin State Treasurer. Now is the time to switch to Spectrum Internet. America's leading internet provider just got even faster, with speeds now starting at 300 megabits per second. Faster speeds to game, faster speeds to stream, faster speeds to work or learn from home, all with 99.9% .9 network reliability. Get Spectrum Internet for just $49.99 a month. 
plus a free modem and free online security software. Call 877-906-9192. Add advanced Wi-Fi to get enhanced security for your home network, automatically blocking outside threats to your devices. If it's connected, it's protected. So no matter what you do online, you can do it faster, safer, and more reliably with Spectrum. Now is the time to switch. Get Spectrum Internet with faster speeds for the same great price. Just $49.99 a month with starting speeds of 300 megabits per second. Visit Spectrum.com to find out more or call 877-906-9192. New at 5, a shakeup of the race for U.S. Senate as a Democratic candidate, Alex Lazary, drops out. We talk to the other candidates about what to expect from what's left on the campaign trail. Another gorgeous night is in store as we are getting ready for the Constantzona Square. We'll give you a look at your forecast as we do have some changes coming up at 5. And ahead at 6, a community mourns the unexpected loss of UW-Whitewater basketball player Derek Gray. We talk to his coach about the tragedy tonight at 6. Weather satellite is spin this afternoon. What a beautiful shot of San Francisco, the Bay Bridge. A little chilly in San Fran today, 63 degrees. Great city. Oh, what a great shot, though. It is a beautiful city. Speaking of beautiful cities, summer in Madison for many people means going to a location like this and hearing some great music. Yep, that's right. But there's a different type of orchestra in Boston. LaVon Reed tells us more. We call them instruments, some people call them office machines, some people call them sculpture. So let's call this a concert with a business office feel. At the staff meeting, at the staff meeting. The Boston Typewriter Orchestra uses old-style typewriters to give them their rhythmic tone. It's got a limited range of sound, so you really have to work at uh, what you're trying to extract out of it. So how does a group like this even get started? We came together at the beginning as a bunch of weirdos that kind of liked to bang on typewriters and that were, for one reason or the other, obsessed about making noises on typewriters. And once we realized, um, you know, we're trying to entertain an audience and <laughs> not just kind of have a laugh, like, banging like monkeys on typewriters, um, I think it really just started to gel. And the orchestra's popularity is on the rise. in business after the pandemic they're playing live at parties the bto is building their own brand and loving it it's always um somewhat gratifying when we play out and see how much people enjoy um what we do we discourage other orchestras from appearing we don't we don't need the competition so uh <laughs> It's crazy. Now the Boston Typewriter Orchestra, or BTO, I love that. I know. They do about one or two gigs a month. Why didn't we think about this in the newsroom? We could have done this. Each member has about two to three typewriters, and they're always on the lookout for more. I'm going to talk to Maestro Sewell, see if he wants a typewriter yeah. section. There you go. In the orchestra. That's a great story. All right. Coming up next, keeping kids healthy. When we come back, UW Health's Healthy Kids Collaborative is celebrating its 10th anniversary in a big way. We'll find out all about it when Live at 4 continues. The kitchen is the heart of the home where memories are made and recipes come to life. So why not have your dream kitchen with cabinet refacing and more from Mad City Kitchens. Choose gorgeous cabinet finishes like cascade white, oak gray and chocolate pear with soft closed doors and drawers installed in as little as two days. I mean, everybody's in the kitchen, so it just you just want to make it useful and comfortable, inviting and, and that's how I think our kitchen is. Now 50 homeowners will receive special savings with free installation on a cabinet refacing project with 18 months, no interest and no payments. Senior and military discounts. You'll be compensated for your time. Call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. Dial 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. 
As owner of Wisconsin's largest construction company, I have a blueprint, a plan for every project. So here's mine for Wisconsin. I'll stand up to the radical left and their socialist agenda. We'll back the blue and get tough on violent crime. Bad guys, they're not gonna like me. I'll crack down on election fraud and keep schools open five days a week, no matter what Fauci says. I'm Tim Michaels, and that's my plan. Now let's get to work. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. Chevy Silverado. It's got the power you want. And the capability you need to do the job. So you can get to the important work. Find new moments. Find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for the rest of summer on all Silverado pickups. Plus, get 2.49% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. I want to share my story so others can know that they are not alone. When my mom and dad were first expecting, the pregnancy had complications and there was very little chance of survival. My mom's health was at risk too. She chose to end the pregnancy. It was my decision, not some politicians. Every woman should have the right to make her own decision. And I'll fight alongside you every step of the way until you do. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Good news when it comes to traffic. A lot of green popping up right now. The Beltline actually smooth east and westbound. It should be a smooth commute through downtown Madison. That's a quick look. All right, Dana, thank you. In Armenia, one way to beat the summer heat is to attend the National Water Festival. It's a tradition since the fourth century. It's both a religious event and just a good excuse to have fun and stay cool. People bathe in fountains. They shoot each other with water guns, pour water on the heads of passersby from balconies. And the best part, no one gets offended. <laughs> A new look for Madison's Aldo Leopold Park will be unveiled next Tuesday, and this park redesign was based solely on feedback from elementary school students. The Healthy Kids Collaborative is a program based out of UW Health Kids. Next week's celebrations will also include recognizing the program's 10-year anniversary. And joining us today to talk more about this is Julia Stanley from the Health Kids, the Health Kids Collaborative Program Manager. Hi, Julia. Good to see you. Hi, Susan. Thanks so much for having me on. Boy, happy anniversary, 10 years. Tell us, what, what is the Healthy Kids Collaborative? Yes, Healthy Kids Collaborative is a coalition of health champions. We're based at UW Health Kids, working to ensure that every child in every community in Dane County uh, has the opportunity to be healthy. Oh, that's wonderful. And how has the program grown over the last 10 years? Boy, time flies, doesn't it? Time does fly. It's a big milestone for us, and we're really happy to celebrate our partners that we've had over the years. When we started, we had about 10 lead organizations. Now we're about fifth or 500 people strong across Dane County. Uh, we really know that kids' health is impacted by where they grow up and where they live. So we work with community partners across Dane County in the places where kids live, where they play and, and where they uh, go to school. Well, we mentioned one of the big projects happening Tuesday, the Aldo Leopold Park re-image. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and the input that you got from the kids. Yes, we're really excited about the event and really celebrating reimagining in this neighborhood. So in 2017, Healthy Kids partnered with Leopold Elementary School and we uh, had a program called the Youth Empowerment Program to teach kids how to be advocates for their own health in their school and in their community. So we worked with these kids and had them take pictures. We asked them to take pictures of places in their neighborhood where it was easy or hard to bike or walk or uh, be physically active. And from this, we heard 
from them, they reminded us that it was much more fun to bike somewhere if it was a fun destination. Uh, and so some of them suggested, what if we had a pump track in this neighborhood? So they presented their findings to city council members, to city planners, and ultimately to the Madison Parks, who really listened to them and reimagined the space uh, with the partnership of Sarah's Foundation, they were able to build a pump track in Aldo Leopold Park and really reimagine it as a bike hub for kids. Boy, that's pretty impressive to advocate like that. Now, I feel like I should know this, or am I really that old? What is a pump track? Yes, so a pump track is a, it can be a dirt or cement uh, track, and it's a rolling course, uh, really skill building for kids to become better at uh, mountain bikers or mountain biking. Um, so kids are on it day and night um, and really using it all the time. Oh, that is very cool. Why, why do you think it's so important for kids to have so much input in this project? Yes, you know, Healthy Kids and our partners really bring a voice to tables that uh, decision making tables where um, people don't often have access and and some of those populations are youth and youth really have great ideas about their needs around health and solutions obviously um, third fourth and fifth graders brought this idea up to madison parks um, and now it's a reality so it's really fun to listen to to the things that people have to say about their own health and wellness oh very cool and in our last 30 seconds we mentioned there's a big celebration for the park on tuesday Boy, it's August yes. 2nd already. Tell us more. Is it open to the public? It is. We hope the public comes and joins us at Elder Leopold Park. We'll be dedicating the pump track. We'll be celebrating Healthy Kids anniversaries with lots of bike rides and bike activities, some other crafts and fun activities. Um, and really celebrating all the great partnerships that brought this into fruition. Well, it's a great, a great event. Best of luck to you. Enjoy the celebration. Hope the weather cooperates. Yes, thanks so much. Julia, great to see you. Good to see you, Susan. Thanks, thanks for joining us today. And we'll be right back. I don't feel like I'm walking into my grandma's kitchen anymore. So this looks like a newer house. I felt like spending the money in here was the best choice. And I feel like it will definitely raise the value of my home. Cabinet refacing from Mad City Kitchens is an affordable alternative to a full kitchen remodel with durable materials that are scratch and stain resistant, easy to clean, and completely transform the look of your kitchen in as little as two days. And listen to this, 50 homeowners who call now will save with free installation on a cabinet refacing project. 18 months, no interest and no payments. Senior and military discounts. We'll take before and after pictures and compensate you for your time. Call during this program for a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. Dial 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. When it's go time, I don't let constipation stop me. New great tasting Dolkalax Chewy Fruit Bites work naturally with the water in your body in as little as 30 minutes. So you can go fast, go gently, and go on with life. New Dolkalax Chewy Fruit Bites put you comfortably in control. And my economic plan is moving this country in a better direction. What planet is he living on? Record gas prices, 40-year high inflation, costing families five grand more for their necessities. Sorry, Joe, that's the wrong direction. Here on planet Earth, Senator Johnson voted against Biden's massive deficit spending that sparked inflation. And he passed tax cuts to help Wisconsin families survive the economic turmoil caused by Democrats. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. A Democrat drops out in the race to replace Ron Johnson in the Senate. We asked the other candidates how it will impact their campaigns. Then a hometown Bucks player gives back to the community in a big way. We share how he's making a difference coming up at 5. Many people ignore the signs. I didn't feel bad. I felt tired. I felt tightness. But he knew better. Susan Simon talks to former colleague Jay Wilson about his health emergency and the risk factor you need to take seriously. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. Sunny skies right now, but we do have some showers building in overnight. The rain expected to stick with us after midnight into daybreak tomorrow. Mild temperatures behind the rain for Thursday and Friday. Highs will be in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s, and then dry weather for this weekend. Always nice when the sunshine lines up with the weekend forecast. For tomorrow, high temperatures again, upper 70s, mostly sunny skies. A really pleasant Thursday expected. 
enjoy it because it's going to get a little hotter as we look ahead to next week and the start of August. All right, Dana, thank you. Here's what's coming up tomorrow on Live at 4. We'll take a trip down memory lane with another Traveler Throwback Thursday. And celebrating its 60th anniversary, we'll head to opening day of the Madison All-City Swim Meet. That's coming up tomorrow on Live at 4. Attention homeowners, we're looking for 50 homeowners who need a custom kitchen upgrade. Cabinet refacing by Mad City Kitchens dramatically improves the overall look and feel of your kitchen. From soft closed cabinet doors and drawers to new countertops and a kitchen island. Create your perfect kitchen design and we'll install in as little as two days back to the lifetime warranty. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers and an A plus rating with the BBB. Time's running out to be one of 50 homeowners who receive free installation on a cabinet refacing project. 18 months, no interest and no payments. Plus, senior and military discounts. We'll compensate you for your time. Last chance to call during this program and receive a free $50 Amazon gift card with your free in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call with zip code and location to qualify. Dial 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Soak in the savings at the Century House. Right now, get a $100 instant rebate for every $1,000 you spend on any qualifying stressless seating. Don't miss the perfect opportunity to fill your home with the world's most comfortable seating for less. It's time for Stressless, proud to be endorsed by the American Chiropractic Association. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. If you have type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure, you're a target for chronic kidney disease. You can already have it and not know it. If you have chronic kidney disease, your kidney health could depend on what you do today. Farsica is a pill that works in the kidneys to help slow the progression of chronic kidney disease. Farsica can cause serious side effects, including dehydration, urinary tract or genital yeast infections in women and men, and low blood sugar. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may lead to death. A rare life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Farsica and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, an allergic reaction, or ketoacidosis. And don't take it if you are on dialysis. Take aim at chronic kidney disease by talking to your doctor and asking about Farsica. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. Farsica. Should I go ahead, Mark? <laughs> in today's final touch, in the backyard of a home at the end of a cul-de-sac in Fort Wayne, Indiana, you'll find a garden fit for fairy tales. The tomatoes are giant. The sunflowers, Jack and the Beanstalk, move over. The Babbage family backyard is home to a potential record-breaking sunflower. The plant is less than a foot away from the all-time U.S. record. The stalk stands at 23 feet, 10 inches tall. The record, by the way, 24 feet, 9 inches. And this one is still growing. Alex Babbage says the trick to giant sunflower plants is to feed them, but not overfeed them and not to overwater them. This plant gains a foot every two days. It slowed down a little bit, but it just needs 11 more inches to break the U.S. record. It's already broken the Indiana state record. Love sunflowers. Like the musical amazing. interlude behind as well. <laughs> All right. That's our time for. We'll see you back here tomorrow.